How shall I start? My name is Lizzie. I'm Anglican. And in five months from now, I'm going to be joining a community of religious sisters. And as I've been praying about how to best use these next five months, I've been really inspired to make a few YouTube videos to kind of answer some of the questions that I'm already being asked and just to share some of my own bit of journey with you in case it's interesting to you and especially if you're wondering if you're being called to religious life um, my hope is that yeah if I can make some videos about my own discernment journey and, and this part of of my journey um, it, it might help someone else in their own discernment and vocation journey so welcome to the first of however many videos I end up making and I guess the first thing to say is just welcome to this little YouTube channel. I will hold your people in my I'm trying to think what you'd want to know about me. Um, I'm 32, I'm turning 33 in about three months time. Uh, I live in Leicester city centre in a block of flats. I juggle four part-time jobs. I, um, I'm the administrator for the Leicester city centre street pastors and I am a street pastor myself and I love it. I, um, I clean the Methodist church and all its um, attached rooms for community use and outreach. I work with adults with learning disabilities and I also do uh, some proofreading to make up work hours in the week and I just do that from home or wherever um, on my laptop over the internet and um, all those jobs I can actually choose my own hours so I make them fit around um, a daily Eucharist so being in the city centre because there's quite a few different Anglican churches um, I can different um, churches will have a Eucharist on different days of the week and the cathedral has one almost every day so between them I, I can find a way of doing my work and going to the Eucharist every day which is really nice um, my hobbies let's see I love anything to do with being outdoors so I, I love walking and especially because I live in a city centre at the weekend I'll try and hop on a bus and just go for a walk um, I like around a wood or around a lake or something we've got Bradgate Park nearby which is um, a really big beautiful park um, and also I've started jogging the last couple of years. I used to be the most rubbish person at sport. I think I got a prize at school for, I think it was kind of the prize of your rubbish at sport, but well, I think it was for effort on the sport field or something. But um, I, I've been using this NHS couch to 5K um, like podcast. It's probably an app by now. And it just very gradually takes you from hardly being able to run for 30 seconds to being able to jog for 30 minutes. And I can jog for about an hour now, um, thanks to this thing that took me there gradually. Um, so yeah, I really like jogging like along a canal or just outdoors somewhere. Um, so yeah, anything to do with outdoors I love and to do with nature and um, things to do with helping the environment have always interested me so um i've been trying to eat more vegan recently not that i am a vegan but just as my little bit to try and help the environment i've been trying to yeah just eat less meat and dairy so just finding new recipes and trying them out has been a real hobby for me i love kind of nutrition and yeah new recipes and stuff like that and um I also love watching YouTube videos on things like minimalism, sustainability, um, the whole zero waste movement, those kind of things I love. And when I'm not watching, oh, and then the other thing I, I watch a lot of on YouTube is documentaries about nuns. And they have actually, those YouTube videos have been so important and useful to me on my discernment journey, which is, that's 
one of the reasons why I thought it'd be good to make some YouTube videos myself. But um, when I'm not on YouTube, I, I like I like reading a lot. Um, usually not fiction, um, yeah, not fiction so much, but just reading sort of theology and books about prayer and that kind of thing. And I like. Um, I genuinely like just sitting in the quiet or, or taking my journal outside if it's nice outside and just sit writing in my journal outside and that kind of stuff. Um, and I'm kind of getting into those colouring, you know those, what are they, like colouring books for adults. I do them from time to time. Um, so they're my main, oh and singing, I, I love, I've sung in choirs for years, I love that like church choir style. And then more recently I joined a gospel choir, which was a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, I love singing. And um, yeah, they're my, all my main hobbies. And obviously meeting up with friends. I've got quite a few of my friends are scattered around. Well, some of them are in America and a lot of others of my friends are scattered around the country. So I can't see them so often. So I'll go on a train or a bus or something and meet up with those friends sort of more like every six months or so um, and then in terms of my friends here in the city um, I'm not so much of a night person but I love uh, meeting up for coffee with them at the weekends that's definitely my kind of thing you yeah, know going around their house and that kind of stuff and uh, just to give you a an idea of my kind of church tradition um, I suppose I grew up Hmm. Yeah, well, I, I was more evangelical, charismatic as I was, um, I've been Christian all my life or, or I was great. I was brought up Christian and I remember when I was about eight saying to God that, yeah, my parents are Christian and, and they've brought me up Christian, but I want to choose you of my own choosing, if that makes sense. Um, and then I, I've grown in my faith ever since then. And, and yeah, when I was younger, I was more surrounded by evangelical and charismatic Christians so I was going to those kinds of churches until I was about 18 19 and then uh, I studied theology at uni by the way um, and then um, ever since I was about yeah 18 19 I've become more and more sort of the more Catholic end of the Church of England um, and I've I've had a, a growing interest in sort of more silent forms of prayer as well and or contemplative prayer um, and then I suppose just the last thing to say in this little kind of intro is the kind of church I go to now which is I guess kind of Anglo-Catholic or liberal Catholic um, if you're aware of that terminology um, yeah in the in a, a city centre context so yeah um, that's all I can think of to say in this little introduction. I hope that just gives you a, a kind of a context and a background to me. But um, really, these videos are about religious life and just my experience of exploring it rather than about me, myself, if that kind of makes sense. So, um, yeah, see you in the next video, which will be more about answering questions about nuns and sisters and that kind of stuff. Bye.